first thing I wanted to do was <coughs> hand over to some other welcomes from both Matt and, sorry, I forgot your name, Divyesh. Uh, so Matt, over to you. <laughs> Who are you? Hello, my name is Matt. Thank you uh, very much for that warm welcome. Um, my name is Matt Noble. I'm the Cabinet Member for Climate Action and Regeneration Events at Westminster Council. Um, it's fantastic to see everybody here. Um, I didn't expect uh, a climate assembly to look to look this big um, and this different, and it, it, it's yeah, it's really exciting. Um, it's uh, just so happens that we're also at the beginning of London Climate Action Week next week, so this is a fortuitous timing for us to be holding it right now. Um, Thank you so much for, for your involvement um, in this climate assembly. I think it's obvious in that it's a citizen climate assembly that we, we couldn't do this without you. We couldn't do this without your dedication over the, over the two weekends. We couldn't do it without your enthusiasm. Um, and that's that's going to make it um, much easier for us as well. So thank you so much. Um, I think climate action is an issue that we're all um, very much aware of. It's something that we are equally determined to tackle head on, um, especially here in, in Westminster. Um, and I know that, or at least I hope that many others feel feel the same way about it. Um, and it's really important that we find ways to work together uh, when, when we are tackling the climate crisis. And it's part of that, that, that kind of spirit of togetherness and cooperation, which is um, part and key to uh, our fair Westminster agenda um, as a, as a newish now administration. Um, so we want to put citizens at the heart of the decisions that we make and so that's why the, the recommendations that we hope that you'll give us at the end of, of this process um, our commitment is that we will look at your recommendations and find, find the best way um, and, and, and implement as many of those recommendations as we possibly can into the um, Council's Climate Emergency Action Plan um, so what you do here is, is important to you but it's important for the entire city and uh, by extension um, important for the country and we hope to be uh, doing the same kind of great work that other um, other citizens have done um, on similar issues. Um, so yeah another thing is that we wanted to bring together diverse voices and perspectives from across Western which I think that's been achieved and so I'd like to thank you guys for, for, for doing that. Um, I think we we know from um, elsewhere in the world and we know from here that um, different areas are affected differently by the impacts of climate action and what we know is that there's half, um, half of the world live in situations and areas where uh, the impacts of climate change are going to be felt upon them um, very significantly. Uh, we also know it's the areas where there is um, poverty uh, where those people will be most impacted and it's um, just the way that the world works uh, that those will be the people who contribute at least to the problem at the beginning. Um, it's low and middle income uh, countries and areas where, where they where they'll be most affected by um, by the possible clim climate related disasters that, that will occur as well, um, and that's an issue that's reflected somewhat here in, in Westminster because uh, we have some of the most and some of the least deprived areas anywhere in the country. Um, and there's also a huge uh, just life expectancy gap between the richest and poorest areas. Um, it's uh, as much as 18 years uh, uh, life expectancy difference for men and, uh, and nine years for women in, in the most uh, deprived areas uh, compared with the, the least deprived areas. Um, and so we want to make sure that um, all members of our community feel supported and feel included and, and that, and that Westminster is genuinely a fairer, fairer place to live. Um, for all of us now and long into the future. Um, so over the course of the four days that you're here on the, uh, of the Assembly, you'll hear from a range of experts and uh, you'll be working together with people to consider uh, how to address the, the, the fundamental questions that we've set out um, as part of the Assembly, which is how to break down those barriers um, that, are, that are preventing us from reaching net zero. Um, And then, yeah, as I said, we'll, we'll take those recommendations away. We'll, you'll, you'll be prevent, uh, present, prevent, presenting them to the, uh, to the leader of the council and the rest of the cabinet. Uh, and then we hope that after that, then uh, some of you will come to a uh, meeting of the, of the full council and, that, and, and those, uh, those ideas will be presented there. Um, so I just wanted to say a few more thank yous before, we, before I pass over and before we kick off. Um, so 
Um, for the four assembly sessions, we have uh, a group of uh, facilitators and some excellent speakers lined up for you. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to those people who volunteered their time and their labour to uh, to come along, uh, and, and they'll they'll be playing uh, a, a really important role in the assembly too. I'd like to thank the University of Westminster for um, for hosting us at re relatively short notice due to the uh, vagaries of lift maintenance. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be shortly hearing from, from Dubia Shannon, who's the um, head of school for social sciences here at the University of Westminster. Um, but again, lastly and most importantly, it's you that I need to thank for, for coming. Um, without your effort and input, uh, it would not be possible. Um, and yeah, I'm looking, really looking forward to, to what comes of the recommendations and, and, and the outputs of, of these sessions. Uh, and uh, with that said, yeah, I'll pass it over to Dubia. So thank you very much.